find out support reactions let us see one more example instead of one ball in a groove two balls are supported or put in a groove as shown in figure at an angle of 30 degree there is a plane and a wall a vertical wall two identical balls are being placed degree two identical bolts are being placed like this <coughs> so this is a vertical wall this is an inclined plane at a 30 degree so the weight of each ball is w equal to 50 newton now you can see ball let this be ball a and this be ball b so ball if you consider ball a how many forces will be there for ball A, if we draw the free body diagram, its weight will be acting vertically downwards through the center of gravity, that is 50 Newton. And the reaction at this point, say E, and let this point be D for the second ball B. So the reaction at E, R, E will be acting perpendicular to this plane perpendicular to this plane that means the reaction will be like this this will be R E and what are the other forces the other force will be reaction from ball B at their contact points that is at this point say in this direction to the from ball B to ball A from ball B to ball A that will be acting like this or if you draw it in the other way that is using principle of transmissibility it can be drawn like this that is R B A that is reaction from B to A all these forces are acting at center O. So now only three forces are acting on ball A. This is ball A. Therefore, we can apply Lamy's theorem on this. On the other hand, ball B is how many forces are acting on ball B? Ball B weight is acting vertically downwards in the same direction uh, parallel to R E R D is there because same plane is being supported so is supporting these two balls then from ball A a force will be excited on ball B we can say reaction it will be like this R A B and there will be one more force that is at the wall at this point C so it will be like this say RC and this RC will be horizontal RC will be horizontal so for the ball B there are four forces acting on the ball that is w or 50 newton as the weight 
then the reaction from the wall at the point C R C reaction at the point D on the plane R D in this direction and R A B that is the reaction from <coughs> the other ball A to the center of B. So this are these are the forces acting on the second ball. In the case of first ball, that is ball A, we can apply Lamy's theorem. Lamy's theorem is expressed mathematically as F1 divided by sin alpha equal to F2 by sin beta equal to F3 by sin gamma where f1 is or first two force alpha is the opposite angle or angle between the other two forces and f2 is the second force corresponding angle f3 is third force corresponding angle is gamma so in this case re will be acting perpendicular to the plane perpendicular to this plane so this is the plane re will be acting like this this is re this angle is 30 degree therefore this angle will be 60 degree this angle will be 60 degree therefore the angle of re with respect to the horizontal or x axis will be 60 degrees so this angle is 60 degree so if you draw the free body diagram with the angles values it will be like this this is r e at the 60 degree angle and r b a will be parallel to the plane inclined plane or ba will be parallel to the inclined plane plane that is at a 30 degree this is r b a w is per particularly downwards that is 50 newton so now we can find out this angle this angle is 90 plus 30 120 degree and this angle is 60 plus 90 150 degree 150 degree then applying Lamy's theorem on ball on cylinder A on the ball A then let us consider and, and this angle is this angle will be 150 plus 120 it is uh, this angle is equal to this angle we can find it out 360 minus 150 plus 120 equal to 90 degree that angle is 90 degree so this is 90 degrees now applying Lamy's theorem on the first ball We have F1 as 50 divided by sin 90 equal to that will be RE. RE divided by sin 120. Therefore, this will give RE equal to 43.3 Newton. 43.3 Newton and RBA also we can find out using RBA divided by sin 150 equal to 50 divided by sin 90 this will give RBA equal to 25 Newtons
okay now on the second ball rba rab is there so from the equilibrium we know that r b a equal to r a b r b a equal to r a b the fourth for the fourth ball uh, second second ball we can apply sigma v equal to zero sigma v is equal to zero that is the vertical components of all the forces equal to zero because the ball b is not moving or, or uh, either the balls are not moving so we can apply in the vertical direction or the uh, we can apply the equilibrium condition sigma v equal to zero sigma v equal to zero so the forces having components vertical components are only three forces the first is rd second is r a b or r b a and the third is 50 so r d is is also at an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal say r d will be like this r d at 60 degree and r a b will be at 30 degree or r b a will be at 30 degree at 30 degree because it will be parallel to the inclined plane it will be parallel to the inclined plane and we have 50 newton downwards so these are the forces uh, having components in the vertical direction so rd's components will be like this this is rd cos 60 this will be rd sin 60 and rba's components will be like this R B A sin 60 R B A cos 60 and this 50 also so applying sigma V is equal to 0 sigma V equal to 0 will give you how to apply R D sin 60 minus R B A sin so this is sin 30 this is 30 this is also 30 sin 30 minus 50 equal to 0 because it is not moving and uh, the balls are in equilibrium so rd sin 60 minus rb sin 30 minus 50 is equal to 0 so from this equation we will get rd equal to 72.17 newton then if you apply sigma h equal to 0 we have because it is not moving in the horizontal direction also so sigma h is equal to 0 if we apply this condition it will give it will give then in this case there will be r c also r c also will be coming so we have r this value is there r b a we know only unknown will be r c let us write the equation that is r c is acting to the uh, to the right towards right therefore rc is positive rc it is not having any component it is uh, acting in the horizontal direction itself rc minus rd cos 60 minus 
RBA cos 30. So, from this you will get RC equal to 57.73 Newton. So, these are the values of the reactions at the supporting points on these two bolts or it can be a cylinder whatever 